I, you, we've never told that story on the show, but there is a real reason that you have shit on Jerry Jarrett for as long as you have. And since this is the last live show, y'all want to hear it? Well, Jerry, when Jerry came in, um, Jerry came in to be a consultant for Vince. And that meant that every Sunday, Vince would have long telephone conversations with Jerry Jarrett. And Jerry would give his feedback on the product at the time. When I came back in 92 or 93, 93, whatever it was, it was after... It was 92, late 92. 92, after the SummerSlam in, in the UK. I came back, and I was back maybe three or four weeks when I moved into my condo, and my brother Tom called me, and, and was we talked a little bit, but he sounded very distant, very cold. I always had a pretty good relationship with Tom. I hung up the phone and I waited a few minutes, and it really bothered me. I called him back, and I said, hey, what's – you pissed at me? And he went on to, he, to ask me, he says, well, why did you blackball me from the WWF? I said, well, first of all, there is no such thing as blackballing. I said, I've never blackballed anyone in my life. I'm not going to start with you. Why would you think that? He says, well, because Jerry Jarrett told me you did. And I had never worked with Jerry – up until this point, I'd met Jerry a couple times in Memphis. I'd never worked one day with him, had one conversation with him in the WWF at that time. I came to Vince's house the next day, told Vince, he said, God damn, just call Jerry. So I called Jerry, and Jerry swore up and down that he had never said anything to Tom. Put all the heat on Tom. Well, you know how Tom is. He's paranoid. He does. You know. And Okay, you know, I can see, but you never said, I never said, Bruce, I don't even know you. Why would I say that? Never. I said, you didn't allude to it or say maybe because of your brother. I don't even, I didn't, you weren't even working here. It's okay. I took him in his word. Fast forward, and Jerry uh, did not prove to be very creative, very good or anything, and it was time for Jerry to leave. But, before that, Jerry had come in, and Jerry had gone to the HR person and, and stated that Pat Patterson and I had gone to all the higher-ups and said Jerry Jarrett was uh, terrible and said all these horrible things about Jerry Jarrett. So we had to have a meeting. Grown-ass men having a meeting with an a HR person in the middle of it. And as we're, we're having this meeting, I just said, Jerry, bring in one person, just one that will confirm that I ever went to him, Pat or I, ever went to them and said anything negative about you. And I'll leave. I'm done. I'll leave right now. Well, you know. I just, and he couldn't produce anyone. And as he was explaining and saying, no, I can't do it, he says, hey, you know, bro, it's like, you know, with Tom, I, I just, I didn't, I didn't know what else to say. Uh, I just figured he's not here that you must have blackballed him. This is in the middle of a diatribe, and I went, what, what, wait, wait, what, what? You told me you never said anything. Well, you know, I just, I didn't know what else to say. And that's when I was done with Jerry Jarrett. So fuck Jerry Jarrett. I, I get along great with Jeff. I love Jeff, and, and Jeff and I have a great relationship. I, I just don't with his dad, and, he's, and I, I care less about Jerry Jarrett ever. 